Today's video, we are going to be doing a full review on this Pulsar V3 on my dad's 2021 Duramax that he's had for about six months. Got to drive it a couple of times, so I wanna give you guys, this is my full review and honest opinion on whether if this device is worth it. And before we get started, if you guys love Duramax content, uh, tuning related, or just any kind of modifications on these trucks, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I have tons and tons of uh, truck content, but it's geared really towards the Duramax. And I myself have an L5P Duramax, so uh, I have a lot of L5P content with uh, my truck and my friend's L5Ps uh, around this area. So if that is something you guys are interested in watching, please hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Before we get started, I wanna give you guys a little bit of information. Now this is a fully emission equipped vehicle. It's only got actually 22,000 miles. We bought it last year and he's already put 22,000 miles. Roughly about 10,000 of it is with the Pulsar V3. I installed this about six months ago. He had it while it was leveled on 35s. And for me, my personal truck is a 2020 Duramax. It's got off-road tunes, five inch straight pipe. My buddy Matt has emission compliant tuning through Duramax tuners on his truck. I've been able to drive all three of the vehicles. This is going to be my personal review on how this Pulsar handles compared to your off-road tunes and your fully uh, mapped ECM tuning. Let's go over some of the features on this Edge CTS3. So if you go to the main screen, you can do diagnostics. So if you ever get a check engine light, this is a little code reader that's built into the monitoring system. So you hit trouble codes and it'll pull all the codes and you can actually clear them as well as they're, as long as they're not a hard code. Sometimes you can clear hard codes like after you fix an issue. And you can also do manual regen. For some reason you have a check engine light that is related to your emission system. Let's say your EPF is too clogged up you can force a regen to try to clear that up as much as you can. And then you can check your injector balance rate. Uh, this is really ideal for older vehicles. My 05, I tend to use the feature a lot to check and see how my injector balance rates are or how my injectors are doing since they are 15 years old with 240,000 miles. And I have heard, so even my dad, well, this is one of the things he complained is sometimes the Edge CTS-3 it, it is gonna take multiple updates before it works properly. I've noticed it when I first got my CTS-3, it was freezing and it was acting up a little bit and I had to go through a couple updates. I haven't had any issues now, but I have heard and seen on forums with a couple of people having issues with their CTS-3 freezing up and not working sometimes. So update it by going to your settings and then you can go ahead and set up do the Wi-Fi setup if you're at the house or if your vehicle has built-in Wi-Fi and you can do check for updates and update it that way. And another cool thing about the CTS-3 and the Pulsar is you can change the tire size. Now this truck has five inch lift with 37. So when we put the 37s, the speedometer was a little bit off, probably about three miles per hour off. You can go to your settings tire size right there and you can also go to your pulsar settings and you can update the pulsar you can do back down settings meaning you can set how high you would allow your egt's to go up you can also do throttle response you can change the throttle response on this unit the cool thing about that is with the banks you have to buy the pedal monster the derringer and then you have to buy the suction cup separately 
uh, with the Pulsar and the CTS-3 combo, the Pulsar has throttle booster built into the tuner. So not only do you get to change this throttle sensitivity of your vehicle, but you can also tune your vehicle. So it's a very good combo. It, I highly recommend it. The throttle booster itself makes a huge difference, but the fact that it's built into the tuner, it makes a world of difference. There you go, so you can do Pulsar settings and then tire size, you can change your vehicle weight for um, other parameters. So this will be my real life review on this Pulsar V3. We are on level five, which is the highest level because why not? It's gonna be, uh, you know, it's gonna be fun. I know for those of you guys that are thinking about getting emission compliant tuning i do want to get a buddy of my uh, mark who has this exact same setup pulsar v3 on his 2020 duramax with nine inch lift and 38s i want him to drive my truck as well as matthias's 2020 duramax because I wanna see for somebody who's had a Pulsar V3, I wonder if they can even notice any kind of difference whenever you drive fully ECM tuned vehicle. Now, one thing I do like a lot about this Pulsar is that it does have built-in throttle booster, so you can change the sensitivity of the throttle. It's built-in per tune. It comes pre-programmed to where sensitivity gets higher with every tune level. So here is a perfect real life opportunity right here for us to kind of merge onto the lane. So I'm gonna have to speed up. Well, I couldn't speed up because the traffic stopped right here. But I will say for a plug and play tuner, even just right there, the throttle response is very much improved comparative stock and in my opinion I don't know guys this Pulsar I think it's kind of for a thousand bucks I don't even know if fully tuned ECM is even worth it to go through all that trouble to get your unlocked ECM and buying credits swapping out the ECM and it's about 2300 bucks to do all that versus a pulsar I don't know guys this this does this is really good stuff so emission compliant ECM tuning supposedly allows better fuel economy and uh, one of the big selling points on those is your DEF consumption uh, if you if you tune it properly apparently they can do it to where it consumes less DEF and it goes through less region according to the forums and some of the reviews that I've seen it does seem like it helps even with Matt's truck he did notice that his truck does use less DEF now that it's got the full ECM tuning now with the Pulsar I can't really say too much I want to say it consumes less DEF but it's not really noticeable enough to where we can say yes or no. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you do have a Pulsar. Uh, I want to know if you think the Pulsar helps with DEF consumption. Does it consume less DEF or does it consume more DEF? Let me know in the comments below because I would really like to know what your results are. If you have any kind of tuning on your L5P, let's go ahead and start like a th little thread down there. Give all your information, give all the feedback you can provide in the comments below. Let's help other people out who are watching this video to get some information on tuning. So let's use the comment section as like a little thread. Let's not have any arguments in the comment section below. Let's keep it as civil as possible. I'm really impressed with the Pulsar. Like, I'm not even exaggerating how much I am impressed with this tuner because if I had to stick to an, to an emission compliant tuning, I would be very happy with the results we're getting. It picks up and goes. I'm telling you. Even to compare it with my L5P with off-road tunes, obviously my off-road tunes are going to be a little bit better. However, with the throttle response, with the built-in throttle booster, I actually prefer 
yeah I actually kind of prefer this throttle response a little bit better than my truck but the cool thing about my truck is I can always request a revision through my tuner and have them amp up the throttle response on my truck now pros and cons is this truck this with the pulsar I dictate what my throttle response is going to be I can go through the settings and change it and just kind of mess with it and figure out the setting that I want with custom tuning I have to go back and forth with my tuner and he's gonna have to write me tunes and I'm gonna have to go through revisions and reflashing the tunes on the truck to figure out what I want so that right there big pro for the Pulsar the built-in tuner is that you have the customization that you can dictate on how you want your truck to respond uh, you can do it a lot quicker than getting custom tunes Now that picked up very nicely. And I heard a turbo spool a little bit. These L5Ps, they have plenty of power from the factory, but it's not this fun driving it. With the Pulsar, I, I actually feel like this truck is tuned, which is what they're trying to do, right? In my opinion, the Derringer doesn't make that much of a difference. However, if you equip the Derringer with the Pedal Monster, that's when you start to see a little bit of difference and can notice the increase in drivability. However, I still don't think it's anything near the Pulsar. Uh, this is way more fun. This actually feels like you're driving a tuned vehicle. Uh, Banks Derringer feels more like just a little booster. It doesn't really feel like a tuner. It just kind of, it improves the drivability but it doesn't actually feel like you're driving a tuned vehicle. You don't really notice the horsepower gains from the Derringer. Yeah, that, I would feel safe driving this truck if I had to merge. You're driving a big old truck. In, in certain situations, you have to get your truck up to speed to merge and not always your truck is going to be able to pick up and go and you may not be able to merge on time or you know you, it might put you in a really iffy situation but this truck i have 100 percent confidence that if i need to merge if i need to get in front of somebody if i'm running away from cops no i have confidence that this truck can do it yeah the throttle response is amazing obviously there's a little bit of that turbo lag that you have with you know any diesels but Y'all, this drivability improvement is, it's actually pretty insane how, how Edge did it. And now before you guys bring in the Banks video, uh, comparing the Derringer with the Pulsar, that's the original Pulsar. This is their version three. They went through many, many revisions, many, many testing uh, before releasing this product. I personally give them huge props because I asked them questions about the Pulsar uh, V3 before it was released. They took that video that Banks made and they took that personally. And they said, you know what? They called us out and we are actually gonna come back stronger, we'll come out with a product that they're actually going to be proud of. So that's what they did. They said they basically re-engineered this whole programmer. So I give them a huge props to doing that. You know, they took the criticism and went on the drawing board and re-engineered the Pulsar so that way they can re-release it. They, they can re-release a product that is actually very good. Comparing this to ECM tuning, emission compliant or off-roading, I gotta say it's 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 really close. I, I can't really tell you straight up the ECM tuning is way better, off-road tunes are way better. It's it's really hard for me to just come out and say that. And that that says a lot. Previously, if you tune your older Duramaxes, if you go with EFI Live tuning with a reputable tuner, that versus can tuning, it, it's a huge difference. And for me to drive this Pulsar, can't tell a huge difference between this and custom tuning. I, I think they did a really good job with this device because I really can't tell a huge difference. Overall drivability on this truck, it is, it's a huge improvement. I don't even feel like I'm driving a big lifted truck and it's turning 37s like it's nothing. That was
was like 50% throttle and the truck just it didn't even lag it it went for a big old truck to just pick up and go like that from your bolt-on tuning very impressive so overall I highly recommend the Edge Pulsar if you are looking at tuning your L5P. Now the big question is, is this better than custom ECM tuning? My answer is, I can't really tell. That, that's, just, that's just the truth. I can't really say for sure that ECM tuning, custom tuning is miles better. Uh, if it is, it's hardly noticeable because of how impressive this Pulsar is. Now, there's probably, like, that's impressive right there. For a thousand bucks, that right there is super impressive. I don't know if paying the extra thousand to fifteen hundred dollars for custom tuning is, is even worth it. I'm sure there's other parameters of custom tuning that's going to be better for sure because you're you have the access to the whole mapping of the truck but for an average joe that is looking to just gain extra power on the l5p keep it emission compliant this is hands down i think the best option for 1100 bucks this is absolutely worth it for an average joe this pulsar is hands down better however if you are looking to keep it emission compliant but you want to add as much horsepower as possible, then yeah, go through the custom tuning option so that way you can talk to your tuner, get the most power out of your vehicle, and you can also upgrade your turbo to uh, Ryan's Diesel Services 64 millimeter turbo. You can always upgrade your injectors and your tuner will send revisions based on the upgrade you've done and you can keep it emission compliant. Now with the Pulsar, if you go with a bigger turbo, if you go with bigger injectors, you really can't do any revisions on that. You have to keep your vehicle stock. Now Edge does offer an option, which I'm gonna ask him more about whenever I get a chance, because I really have no idea how that works. You can send in your ECM and they can unlock it for you and send you custom tunes based on your vehicle. Closer, similar to ECM tuning that's offered through like PPEI, Duramax tuners. I just don't know to what extent their custom tuning is, the uh, Edge's custom tuning is, so I can't tell you guys more about it. But if that's something you guys wanna know, let me know in the comments below. I can find out from Edge and tell you guys more about it if that is something you guys are interested in knowing. I myself wanna know, so I'm probably gonna ask him anyway. So far, I've been very impressed with the drivability of this truck. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've said it. This truck is actually so fun to drive. This truck is just as fun as my L5P. Only difference is my truck has that turbo spool that you hear. But if I was on a long trip and I just wanted something quiet, this would be the way to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are interested in Duramax content, let me know in the comments below and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Peace.